Galileo Galactic Family. The spiritual foundations of world events. We need to regain our desire for truth and authenticity on the part of individuals in public life, and stop accepting narrative as a description of reality. There is a moral urgency for this, related to the maintenance of our democratic way of life. We are living in a time when it is difficult to determine what effect is in relation to political, social and economic reality. In today's political discourse, the word narrative has replaced the word fact in many cases, at great cost to those who would want to know what is true about what an individual, leader, or spokesperson is saying. Narrative is a word we understand. It is a noun that means a story, story or description of an event or sequence of events, an image of reality, but not necessarily reality itself. This word became popular in today's political arena, in a way that would have been unknown to us a decade ago. We do not realize this because we are accustomed to it. Such a change is accompanied by a similar change in our own expectations. We no longer expect to know the factual nature of what is being shared with us. We hope that each person who speaks within a political context, filters the facts through their own agenda or personal motivation, and therefore anticipates that what is presented to us is not necessarily information, but a story, a narrative. The change in our expectations for authenticity is a loss for us personally and for the democratic process itself. In fact, it is a corruption of this process. As a result, either we are forced to seek information on a particular subject on its own, to the best of our ability, or we resign ourselves to the possibility that it is not possible to determine what is really true in a given situation. Beloved ones, we need to regain our desire for truth and authenticity, to stop accepting narrative as a description of reality. There is a moral urgency for this, which is related to maintaining our democratic way of life. There is also a moral urgency for each of us personally, since we need to be as secure as possible in shaping our own perspective on what is real. If everything is a narrative, then it is difficult to know how to see anything, but through the prism of our emotions that are affected by the events that surround us. In addition to the growing dominance of the narrative of the facts today, there was also a trend in last year's presidential and post-election campaign, no longer requiring people to be consistent with the statements they made earlier. Although part of this trend has been with us for a long time, in 2016 it was taken to a much greater extent. Instead of holding individuals accountable for their words, we become accommodated to what has become a growing trend, and now, regrettably, we accept the fluid reality of one who takes a stand on one day, and another position on another day. When this happens over a long period of time, we understand that this is related to an evolving consciousness that causes a change in points of view. When the words of several weeks or several months ago are contested by statements that reverse what was said earlier, we can no longer know what is true and what is an opportunistic reaffirmation from a point of view in order to face new circumstances. Beloved, we cannot lose sight of the principle of asking people to be truthful with their word. We should seek out those in public life who are currently adhering to this principle, and demand of all others that they maintain the premise of integrity and responsibility as a moral imperative. Only in this way can we see things correctly in the desire for integrity in our own heart. When we do not ask political leaders, spokespeople, or others to be faithful to their word, when we let their representation of reality be fluid from moment to moment or presented as a narrative rather than as a narrative statement of fact, we do a disservice not only to ourselves, since we abandon our own innate sense of authenticity, but also a disservice to democracy which is the basis of our way of life. 
There are many things that change with the seasons and seasons of a person's life, but the responsibility for truth and authenticity is not one of them. We must, in accordance with the deeper principles that we maintain in our hearts, live the foundations of this country, remain in search of authenticity, integrity and responsibility, and not allow the moral laxity of political rhetoric to become a way of life to which we adhere to. In this way, we can stand firm and defend the light of truth that can be beneficial to others, as well as to the foundations of democracy itself.